chiaroscuro means clear and obscure. My initial idea was to bring music of Mozart as a ray of light on the apocalyptic sky of Scrabin. I thought to combine Scrabin's music with a classical composer, as I always found his way of writing and musical thinking very similar to classical composers than to romantic ones. I have felt a connection with both composers since I was a child. My orchestral debut at the age of eight was at the legendary Great Hall of Moscow Conservatory, where I played Mozart's 17th Piano Concerto. Then, a couple of years later, I won Scrabin's Piano Competition in Moscow. Scrabin said that it's necessary to make a musical form as perfect as crystal. Perfection in phrasing, polyphony, in form proportions, laconicism, all this relates Scrabin to Mozart. It is an interesting mixture of schematism and supreme intuition. Scrabin owned a concert size Bechstein piano. So Bechstein plays a key role in this recording project, bringing me even closer to Scrabin's world. Sometimes I feel it's very helpful to see Scrabin's music through Mozart's sound world, then Scrabin becomes even more authentic with this transparency, clarity, and feel of perfection. some cliches and misunderstandings about certain composers that have built up over time. With this program, combining Mozart with Scrabin, I wanted to liberate music from stereotypes and bring new aspects, which I hope the listeners will find interesting. <laughs>